Hey guys, welcome to another video and another question. In fact, I have a couple of questions for you and a couple of similar questions, basically. Uh, I have seen in many entrances, they have started asking you a little bit on the short distance between certain point and, uh, you know, a curve. That curve could be a parabola, could be a circle. So I have those kind of questions for you. The shortest distance between the point 3 by 2 comma 0 and the curve y equals to root x is, I would, uh, you know, at this junction, want you to try it out on your own. So you can pause and try it. All you have to do is, first of all, I'm giving you a hint, just think about the distance between the two points uh, and then try to think what could be the shortest one. Okay. So here, let's if you're back, you can work with me out. And uh, suppose whatever our curve is, our curve is y equals to root x, okay? Or we can say that y square is equal to x, right? Now, let the point... P be x1, y1 on the curve, on the curve, okay, on the curve. And we're assuming that this is the point which will give us the shortest distance, okay, then what this point would be. And let's carry on the analysis. So if this is the point, this is the point on the curve, that means x is equal to y square. So in case of x1, y1, we will have that x1 is equal to y1 square. So P, basically the point P is y1 square comma y1. That's the point that we are talking about, right? Now let's talk about the distance between this point P and 3 by 2 comma 0. So distance, using the distance formula in R2, we know it is the square root of y1 square minus 3 by 2 whole square. Or let me just write down the formula for you. Basically distance formula when you have two points, say x1, y1, x2, y2. So it is x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square, right? So here x2, y2 are 3 by 2 and 0. So hence the distance will become x x1 is y1 square minus 3 by 2 whole square plus y1 minus 0 whole square, right? So, in other words, what we have is y1 square minus 3 by 2 whole square plus y1 square. Now, can you think what could be the shortest distance with this? Or when can you have, for what value of x1, y1, what is the point uh, with which you can get the shortest distance. Wo kaun sa? Kya itna jo humne analysis kiya usse humne pata lag sakta hai ki what is that value of x1, y1? Jisse what we get is ki ye jo distance hai between x1, y1 and 3 by 2, 0. This becomes the shortest distance. Well, clearly ek cheez humne pata lag rahi hai yaha pe. Aur wo ye hai ki it's a square of something plus square of something. So you are adding two positive values. Let's simplify it a little more. Open the whole square and see if we can simplify this and, uh, you know, get something out of it. So ye ho jayega y1 to the power 4 plus 9 by 4 minus 6 by 2, right? 6 by 2 by 1 square plus y1 square 
So six by two means three. So what I get here is y one to the power four plus nine by four minus three minus three uh, y one square plus y one square. So what we get here is minus two y one square. Right. Acha, ab, can I create a whole square out here? Let's see. If you observe. So again, we have y1 square whole square. Right. Plus 3 by plus 9 by 4. Minus 2 y one square. So that means if I take one variable as y1 square, the other variable I can take minus with minus 2, uh, minus 2 ab, I can take the other variable as 1, right? So that means what I'm getting here is what I can uh, do here is create a whole square, create a whole square of y1 square minus one whole square okay so in that process you got to add and subtract one right so you must have added and subtracted one here so that you can create this whole square okay so plus one is used in here and what i get here is five nine by four minus one minus one is left so this gives me y1 square minus 1 whole square plus 5 by 4. Okay. So the least value that I can get from here, what is the least distance that I can get? The least distance I can get here is the least distance that I can get here. Keeping in mind that this will be positive no matter what y1 is no matter what y1 is y1 square minus 1 whole square will be positive always right so clearly the distance will be shortest the distance is shortest when y1 square minus 1 is actually equal to 0 then the distance is shortest, okay? Or in other words, y1 is equal to, y1 square is equal to 1. So y1 could be plus 1 or minus 1. Now, shortest distance would be, therefore, we need to find out the shortest distance. We were not interested in figuring out the point. We wanted the shortest distance, but in the meantime, we have been able to figure out what y1 should be. The shortest distance would be 0 plus 5 by 4. So that means root 5 by 4 is the shortest distance. So do we have any such option? Yes, root 5 by 4 means root 5 upon 2. So D is the correct answer. D should be the correct answer. Similar to what we have just done. Let's work on another question based on, again, the same kind of concept, shortest distance between, this time the line, y minus x equals to 1 and the curve x equals to y square. So in this case, these are your options. We have a parabola, x equal to y square is a parabola like this. And y minus x equal to 1 is this line. Right. Now, shortest distance, uh, I hope we all understand that the shortest distance is basically the perpendicular, right? Or the shortest distance is the length of the common normal, okay? The common normal. Now, we need to figure out what this shortest distance would be. There could be different ways of doing this question. I'm going to use a particular way. Now, since this is perpendicular, this is perpendicular, right? So therefore, 
if say this is point P, the tangent at point P must be parallel to this line. The tangent at point P must be parallel to this line. Because this is perpendicular, then of course, they have to be two parallel lines like this, right? So that's the case. So suppose this point is Q on the line and this point is P, okay? So here you have that this is, these are parallel and this is your common normal, okay? So what is the slope of the tangent? Slope of the tangent at P. How will you get that? Now P, the point P is on the parabola, right? So if suppose this point is x1, y1, then basically since you have x is equal to y square, x is equal to y square. So this point is same as saying y1 square comma y. Okay. So slope at slope at p which is y1 square comma y1 y1 square comma y1 is x is equal to y square. So therefore if you differentiate on both the sides with respect to x, you will get 1 is equal to 2y dy by dx. So that means dy by dx is equal to 1 upon 2y. And this is happening when y is equal to, we are taking y1. So this is 1 upon 2y1, okay? So this is 1 upon 2y1. Now, That's your slope. Now, the slope of this tangent and the slope of the line have to be equal. Slope of tangent is equal to slope of the line. So, therefore, slope of the line is dy by dx minus 1 equals to 0. That means dy by dx is equal to 1. And hence what we get is 1 upon 2y1 is equal to 1. Or in other words, y1 is equal to half. If y1 is equal to a half, that means the point P is 1 upon 4 comma 1 upon 2. It's 1 upon 4 comma 1 upon 2. So the shortest distance, distance between, distance between PQ, distance between PQ is, now the formula for finding distance between a point x1, y1 and a line ax plus by plus c equals to 0 is, Absolute value of ax1 plus by1 plus c upon square root of a square plus b square. So in our case, it will be, it will turn out to be the following. It will turn out to be 1 by 4 since a is, see the line, line is y minus x equals to 1. Okay. So ax1 plus b y1. So b y1 would be minus 1 into half plus c. c is equal to 1. So plus 1. Whole thing upon square root of a square that means 1 minus 1 square is also 1. So absolute value of this. So it's going to be 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2 plus 1 upon square root of 2. That turns out to be 3 
root 2 by 8 or in other words 3 upon 4 root 2. So whichever way you see it, it is uh, basically you can now look into the options. Let's, let's now look into the options. 3 root 2 upon 8. Yeah, so 3 root 2 upon 8 is, is correct. In case the other option would have been there, it, it, it could have been written in this way also. So A is the correct option. Herein, we had to use the formula for finding out the length between the distance between a point and a line. I hope this will help you in answering any such question.